The 2004 hurricane season included 15 storms, nine of which became hurricanes, and six of which became major hurricanes category three or above. They cost more than 3,000 lives and about $50 billion in damage. Four hurricanes hit the state of Florida, which was a record. Never before had four hurricanes hit uh, the state of Florida in a single season. The 2005 hurricane season broke many records. It broke the record for the largest number of storms, 28 in total. So many, in fact, that the normal way of naming storms using uh, letters of the English alphabet had to be supplemented by six storms named by letters of the Greek alphabet. This had never occurred before. Fifteen of these storms became hurricanes. This was the greatest number of hurricanes recorded in a single season. Seven of these became major hurricanes greater than category three. There were almost 4,000 people killed in all of these storms, and the total damage was almost $160 billion. This was the most active season in recorded history, and unusually warm temperatures are thought to have been a major reason why this season was so active. Hurricane Katrina struck the United States in August of 2005. It was one of the five deadliest hurricanes in U.S. history, costing more than 1,800 lives. It was the costliest U.S. natural disaster in history, costing more than $108 billion in damage. Although its damage stretched from central Florida to Texas, the majority of the cost occurred in New Orleans, uh, Louisiana, where 80% of the city and large tracts of neighboring areas became flooded when the levee system failed. While hurricanes cannot in general be attributed to global warming, what may be a factor is that the Gulf of Mexico was unusually warm at this time in 2005. Hurricane Katrina made landfall over Florida on the 25th and was no longer a hurricane. Once it reached the Gulf of Mexico, however, uh, it became a hurricane on August 25th, and in just nine hours between August 27th and the morning of the 28th, it went from a Category 3 hurricane to the strongest category of Category 5, with wind speeds over 175 miles an hour. So while global warming uh, did not cause Hurricane Katrina, the unusually warm uh, waters of the Gulf probably contributed to its strength, its ability to grow to a Category 5, and thus much of the damage which was later caused by Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Irene was the sixth costliest hurricane in U.S. history, costing more than $15 billion, in large part because it struck northern uh, cities such as New York City and Boston. While global warming did not cause Hurricane Irene, nevertheless, the Atlantic Ocean was warmer than normal. Had it been a normal temperature, Hurricane Irene would have been much less severe when it had made landfall and would have caused much less damage.